channel now today i'm going to be doing an emergency kit i'm going to be showing you guys 34 things you need to bring with you at all times now a lot of things i'm showing a lot of people do not have in their emergency kit and i'm not sure why because if this happens then you need it so i'm gonna go show you so let's get right into this video so the first thing you need in an emergency kit you need to make sure you have a pouch and this is to make sure that your feminine products are hidden away from everybody they don't know when you're on your time of the month um and you want to make sure you have different types so if you're a person that, that uses tampons have that if you're a person that uses pads have that panty liners have that have three different kinds of different things because just in case somebody forgets to bring theirs and they're in an emergency situation, you want to make sure you have um, something to give them. If they don't use the pads or if they don't use tampons, you want to make sure that you have them just in case somebody needs them. So that's the first one. The second thing you also want to make sure you have is a lip balm or lip gloss. Any two doesn't matter just in case you're feeling one or the other. Your lips get dry you want to always have something to put on them so that's why you have to bring one or the other or both the next thing you also need to make sure you bring bring change a change purse with any type of money in it from ten dollars to twenty dollars just in case you forget your wallet you do have money to buy food if you're hungry a drink if you're thirsty next thing you need to make sure you always bring is hand sanitizer now the reason why i have mine in a ziploc bag is because it does leak this lid so i want to make sure that it doesn't leak in my bag so that's why i have it in a ziploc bag but make sure you have it because when you're away from water this is the only time you're supposed to be using sanitizer if you see a sink with water and soap you use that you do not use this when you're in front of water you use this when you are away from the water and soap so just just a clarification for those who think that you're going to do this for substituting hand washing when there's a sink right in front of them no so that's next thing you're going to need is also just did this before but this one you're going to need a travel size i don't have travel size right now i just bring a big size when you're on your time of the month and you're in a lot of pain guys don't understand this but it's okay we don't have to explain anything to them um yeah so when you're in a lot of pain you need uh, pain reliever so i always have motrin i have the extra strength one and that's what i use this knocks out the pain once i take one of this like i don't have to take any more for the rest of my time of the month like it literally knocks out the pain for me but personally but it, depending on the person it would work whatever would work for you take medication as well at all times the next thing you're going to need oh, first aid so i got this from my old workplace they gave it out for free it has band-aids in there it has um, wipes it has ointment for burns and gauze so you want to make sure you always have that because especially in at school you're gonna have paper cuts from the stupid paper so or you're gonna have some actual deep cuts so you want to make sure you have a band-aid to cover that up and stuff to clean it up too next you're gonna need tissue now i don't have the um the mini ones I just bring tissue in a Ziploc bag and I put how much I'm going to need for the day. So it's the tissue is for like if you have like a runny nose or if you have something in your nose and you want to take it out, do not use your sleeve. That's disgusting. Use a paper. I hate seeing grown adults using their sleeve and digging out their nose. Like that is so disgusting. So yeah, use a paper please. And the next thing... I have it candy or gum candy if you don't feel like eating gum you could eat candy and vice versa if anyone needs gum you could always offer them it if they want it do not offer them it just because their breath smells just offer it when they ask so just keep that in mind um yes this is that this is that this goes hand in hand with the hand sanitizer if you want to just wipe your hands with like a cloth a wet cloth there's these wet wipes. These ones are the extra thick ones. And they kill 99.9% .9 of germs. And they are antibacterial wipes. So 
always have this with you too. Even with the hand sanitizer, always bring this. The next thing you need to bring is your own toilet paper. Now, everyone probably is laughing at me like, why would you bring your own toilet paper? Well, because a lot of times in the washroom, they have one ply. What does one ply do for you? What does it really do? Like, I don't know what company decided to create that. Like how is that? You're going to have to use a lot more to clean areas. So I just get Charmin Ultra. Yeah, I know bougie, but you know, but it does the job. So that's why I'm using Charmin Ultra. So yeah, get you some toilet paper. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some toothpaste, a mini toothpaste and a toothbrush. Because if you have something in your teeth and you want to take it out, especially after you eat lunch or any anything, you don't want anything in your teeth or that plaque buildup around the teeth at the gum line, like that's gross. So we want to always remove that. And if you have something stuck in your teeth and you want to floss, make sure you bring floss. I use the Easy Glide one because the other ones are too rough and I don't know why people still have them or why people still use them because that thing makes my gum bleed. I use the soft one. So it's easy to go through your teeth and yeah, you don't have any problems with these ones. So the next thing you need also too, if you don't want to bring that type of floss, they have these ones. This is the Oral-B Complete Glide ones and they're the ones that look like this. And you literally just use it and then you dash it in the garbage. So. This, you could put some in a Ziploc bag. You don't have to bring this whole bag with you. You could just put it in a Ziploc bag, whatever you need for the day, and then you just put it in there. So next thing you need is a mini deodorant, just in case um, the deodorant that you applied on after your shower disappeared. You could always reapply, so that's that. Next thing after, because of COVID, even before COVID, you always have some hand lotion just because we wash our hands frequently and it gets dry. So you need to always put some lotion on after. From Bath & Body Works, I like this most so much. So that's why I prefer to use that. The next thing is a brush. If you want to brush your hair, your real hair, fake hair, it doesn't matter. Always bring a brush. It does the trick. You don't want to look like Major Bedhead. We'll leave him for Treehouse. That's about it. So please bring a brush because you don't want to look like you just got out of bed. You always want to have that hair looking good at all times. So always bring a brush to fix it. And for hair stuff, always bring bobby pins and also hair ties and a hair clip. You never know when you're going to need it. And if you don't want your hair down and it's annoying, then you just put it up. So that's that one. And then you're going to need a portable charger. This one is great. I got this from Amazon. It's the PNY. It once you charge it to a hundred percent, it does charge your phone like three times, and then you have to recharge it. So make sure you do charge this first before you put it in your emergency kit, and make sure you have the cord for your phone to charge it so that you can charge your phone. Because I don't know how people sometimes people forget to charge their phone overnight. I never, I, like as soon as I know I'm going to bed, I make sure I charge my phone when I'm about to go to bed. Like I, and that in the morning time, it is perfect, ready for me to go. And I still will bring the backup just in case throughout the day it will die, obviously. So you want to make sure you have your phone charged at all times. So, and that's also too for school students. If you have a, your iPad and your laptop charger, make sure you bring them with you at all times. They will die eventually. And the next thing is unscented baby wipes. Now this is for wiping down there, your butt too. This is um, right after you finish using the washroom, the toilet paper first, you're gonna wipe the area dry. Then what the wipes does is the wipes removes the odor from down there. So. It will remove the odor that you urinated. It will remove any odor that it has or whatever. It will remove it. So that's what that's for. And also your butt to make sure you wipe it out with toilet paper. Wipe it with the wipes. And then get another fresh toilet paper. And dry up the area. Because you don't want to have a moist butt. You just want it to be dried. So make sure. If this is just to clean it out. But not to leave it wet. You just dry it 
after with a fresh toilet paper and you're good to go so that's what the wipes is for you don't necessarily have to break that big one but if you want to you can and let's leave it in the car and just have some in your ziploc bag in your actual bag to bring with you on the go but that's just what i bring and so the next thing you're going to want to bring with you at all times i'm going to make sure that you always have a body spray so i'm using right now i bring the one in a million by bath and body work now i only bring this because i take public transit and it never smells good at any time so i don't want to smell any of that so i normally when i go on the bus i spray it out because i'm tired of smelling armpits so that's why make sure you have this at all time because sometimes you just want to spray out some areas i don't know people don't want to bathe so you have this to spray it up and to have fresh air all over again you're going to want to bring a mini mouthwash with you now this one is the thera breath fresh breath oral rinse lights bad breath for 24 hours you could get this on amazon for the canadians um because this is actually an american product so you could get it on amazon and it does fight bad breath morning breath any type of breath for 24 hours so make sure you have it especially if you ate tuna for lunch or some type of wild food like you need to make sure that you wash your mouth out because no one wants to smell it and sometimes gum won't help it so just make sure you use this one now when nature calls it calls so you need to be prepared you know everyone does it we pee we poop so what you need to do is you want to make sure you have the toilet odor deodorizer and now you spray this twice in the toilet before you do a number two and no one would ever know that you did one in there um if you, you need to make sure to use this because or bring this with you at all times because for example if you're going to like an assembly or convention and like your stomach decides that it wants to fight you right now so you need to Make sure you have this at all times because when you're in the washroom and it's a busy, like say it's break time, everyone decides to get up and use the washroom at the same time. People are just leaving the stall and going and leaving and going in. And sometimes it smells disgusting. So you let the other person go in there and wait till another decent smelling one happens to come your way. Um, but to prevent that, so you want to use the toilet spray and you want to spray this in the toilet twice all right press spray it twice then you want to you do your business after you flush it then no one will ever know that you pooed it's amazing um they have different companies but i use this one the most because this is my favorite scent this one is the ocean mist one and yeah because when people pull up the washroom and they attack it in there and like something died then we all know who did it so if you don't want to be that person who was the person who did that and everyone's in the line knows it was you then i would suggest you get yourself one you could get it at amazon walmart anywhere so make sure you always bring this with you because you don't know what you did in the washroom so that's a great thing about that product you always want to make sure you bring pens as well Black ink or blue ink only. Do not use any colorful pens just in case you need to fill out any important documents that need black ink or black pen. So make sure you always have that with you at all times. So the next thing you need is you always need to make sure you pack underwear and extra clothing. So my underwear is in the middle of these and I have extra clothing with me at all times. You need to always i know we're at home now so like even if you're at school like everything is at online but if you were to be in school you always want to make sure you have extra stuff like extra clothes to change into in your locker because you never know if someone's like a bully is gonna like literally throw food all over you in the lunchroom or you're just gonna like trip and fall and fall in the mud or some next thing so you always want to come prepared with extra clothes extra other stuff that you really need and last but not least you're going to want to always have now this product a lot of people never have with them in their emergency kit i'm not sure why like do you not know that this could happen at any time well i'm going to show you now diarrhea comes 
at different times like your close to your time of the month or it could come like if you're nervous or like just you ate something messed up or just randomly sometimes so you need something to stop it immediately before you know it gets out of hand aggressively you don't need to bring yourself one of these this sodium liquid gel you is you need to take two capsules take two at the first time the symptoms happen and then once after every bowel movement and then what this does is it literally headlocks the symptoms and the symptoms say you know what i ain't gonna fight you no more i'm gonna go and that's what this does it goes so once you take this literally the diarrhea clears up now for me if i have it two of the capsules once i take two i don't have to continue to take it anymore because it's gone by the the first two capsules i took so yeah you wanna when the devil comes for your butt you wanna run him so we run him with this okay always be prepared diarrhea is disgusting and it's the most annoying thing if it happens on a regular basis for some people or if it just randomly comes like for me um like one time like it normally happens like loose stool normally happens when i have somewhere important to go in a short time like oh i need to be here for this time oh no my stomach decided to attack me beat me up punch me in the gut now i'm crippled and now i have to be on the toilet seat no you need to take this after you start getting the symptoms immediately so that it could work and you're good to go you're gonna be like you know what i did not have diarrhea this morning it's like night and day like you know i don't really remember having diarrhea but i did and now there's no evidence so that's what this is for so i hope you guys enjoyed my video today um because there's a lot of stuff that we know that you're supposed to bring your cell phone obviously and other stuff but these things that i showed you in this video a lot of people don't have in their emergency kits and they should because you never know so you want to make sure you have that at all times so i am signing off now and i hope you guys enjoy my video <laughs> so until next time guys bye oh wrong way bye